Hey everyone, we're here at Universal bright and early this morning. We got up at the crack of dawn to take some of our own advice. We tell y'all all the time to come early and stay late because first thing in the morning and last thing at night, the crowds are better and it's not as hot. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We are super excited to head in and have an amazing day. We're gonna hang out for the first few hours of the park and then we're gonna go home and chill for the afternoon and then come back for the last few hours and show you guys how much fun it can be. Please welcome our honorary family of the day. got to love the rush of EPA. Yeah. Um, everybody, there's just so much energy. Everybody's waiting outside the gate, waiting for them to open the parks up. And then when they open the parks up, even though you're not supposed to, everybody's making a mad dash yes. to Hagrid's. Like that's, when you see people running, they're not running because they want breakfast from Leaky Cauldron. They're running because they want Hagrid's. But the energy, but like the sun just hasn't had time to drain everybody. <laughs> Everybody's here having a good time. There's a lot of people, this is their first day. Yes. Like this is the first time they've come in. And so like, it's just, it's a lot of fun to watch. I'm just not, uh, I'm not gonna run to Hagrid's. <laughs> This is why we love getting here first thing in the morning. There's no line for Butterbeer. There's no line for the three broomsticks. The shops are basically empty. Hippogriff is like a five minute wait. Forbidden Journey is basically a walk on. Even Velocicoaster is only 15 minutes. Everybody's so concerned with getting here and getting in line for Hagrid's. It already has like a 90 minute wait, but there is nobody anywhere else. We just saw two girls and one of them had on the best Brendan Fraser shirt. It was amazing. She said she got it from Etsy, so y'all are gonna see me in that before long. But shout out to Laura and Anna. I'm like 90% sure she said Laura. Could have been Lauren, but happy birthday. Well, everybody's wasting their time riding the C tier ride, which is Hagrid's. We're gonna go get on Hippogriff. <laughs> but seriously, like, yes. the thing is, Hippogriff, if you don't get on it early, there's only one cart that runs on it because it's yeah. a small track. Yeah. And even if you have Express, the wait time can be forever. Like, you'll see this thing hit 90 minutes even when it's not busy. And then the wait time in Express is generally like half that. I know. I think it's got the longest Express <laughs> line at the park. And it's been so long since we've ridden it because of that. I'm like ridiculously excited right now. Hagrid. He's talking right now. I wasn't prepared for that. I forgot that he talks in this one. That was more thrilling than I remember that ride being. Like I said, it's been forever since we've ridden it, but there were two little kids in front of us that were both screaming their heads off by the end of it. But I feel like we should try to ride that again tonight because when it's dark out, like the views of the castle from that ride, especially when you're like ticking up in the beginning, gorgeous. I don't know if they let people in early. Hackers is 165 minutes. <laughs> the line, because I, I walked out there to get some shots, Sheesh. the line is, like past the cabal place. It's like way back there. Oh my god. The line is like it's all the way out. Like when we leave you'll see it. It is the, I think they've got the the line at capacity right yeah. now. I wonder if they have like data of like what the line like the wait time is throughout the day because I feel like so many people just like rush to it first thing in the morning because they want to get it over with. I feel like about like an, like when EPA ends is probably when that line is about at its longest. Yeah I, I I have always been under the assumption, and like I've, I've said it multiple times, I think rushing to Hagrid's first thing in the morning is a mistake. I think you're going to wait longer doing it first thing in the morning than like late at night. We'll check that out. I'm going to start we'll making see. a spreadsheet. We'll see, we'll see what it's like when we get here tonight. Did you know they had scones at the little like walk-up snack car here? I think it's blueberry. It's hot too. This thing is delicious like it's not too sweet but it's sweet enough it's warm it's almost like a biscuit with like blueberry jam on it which is my jam <laughs> it's, it's oh gosh um it's somewhere in between a biscuit and a pancake yeah it's so good like it's fluffy in the middle it's not like a lot of times scones are kind of on the dry side this is good get you one of these I don't know if y'all can tell by the mass of people behind me, but early park admission is officially over. When we were first walking in, we saw that Velocicoaster was like a 15 minute wait. It's over an hour now, and we were gonna ride it, but I don't know. We rode it. That ended up only taking like 45 minutes, even though it was 60 minutes. 
I will say, I think that it has slowed down since Express opened up. Yes. I think there's like a, been a big debate whether or not it has. I think it has. Even though we got in line just as Express was opening up, there was a lot of people going through that Express line, and I just think it, it slowed it down just a little bit. Uh, it used to be like, if a post wait down was 60 minutes, you might wait 30. Yeah. Uh, and that's not the case, but they still do an amazing job of... You're not going to wait the poster wait time. Like, we, we have yet on Velocicoaster to wait the poster wait time. Yeah, that ride's a people eater, and it is always worth it. But I just can't believe how hot it is already. Like, it's just now about 10 o'clock, and I'm sweating. Like, it is hot. When we got here this morning, like, there was a breeze going. It felt nice. I wasn't sweating. It was not the case anymore. You know the shirts that they had that were all the rage, that everybody wanted, that were completely sold out? They have them. So either the rage is over and people aren't freaking out about it anymore, or they just ordered a ton of those. We did decide to wake up and do this on a Saturday. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> no, we wanted to give you guys a more, like, I guess accurate representation yeah. of what it's actually like in the parks. Because if we came and did this on a Wednesday or something like that, the wait times would be much lower. Yeah. And with summer right around the corner, because Memorial Day weekend is a week from... Monday. I mean, when I put this out, whatever. <laughs> There's a whole little thing I was trying to think of there, but it's like a week away. The year's like halfway over. And it, it it's so wild, but summer is right around the corner, which means the crowds are about to get insane. Yep. Um, I, I don't know. This like this is just more of a opportunity for us to show you guys what it's probably going to be like. I mean, the wait times today have been much higher than they've been for the last three or four weeks, yeah. so you can already see those crowds starting to roll in. Maybe there's something to this like getting up early thing. I woke up at like 5.30 this morning, which I never do. And I'm like bouncing off the walls with energy. Like all I've had to eat is that scone. I haven't had any caffeine and I'm just like ready to go. Well, I know you said you're ready to go, but I hope you're ready to go home because <laughs> our two hours are over. The first two hours of the park. Um, <laughs> you know, you gotta call, you gotta call it like it is. Um, we're gonna go home and cool off because it is so warm and come back when it is pulled off again. Yep. That cut's not as powerful as I wanted it to be. Full transparency. Uh, I thought it would be dark, so I thought that transition would make a lot more sense. Um, and also we ran into a few issues. So, as you can tell, we are in different clothes and that's because last night it started pouring. Yep. Uh, we didn't take our own advice to check the weather and we also didn't look at the wait times like we didn't look at the app and see uh, not wait times the the, the park hours uh the parks closed at like six o'clock last night yep. um on a saturday on a saturday is i think what was it so studios stayed open until nine but islands closed early is six or seven i can't remember yeah. but way too early for us to do this i mean tonight uh it's closing at eight so it's a little bit earlier than i expected but uh it it's weird because normally Islands is the one that stays open. Studios is the one that closes early. It, I know. It is super strange. I don't like it. If you're like us, the thought of getting up at 6 a.m. to do literally anything, including coming to the theme parks for early park admission, probably sounds terrible, especially on vacation. Like when I'm on vacation, I want to sleep in, I want to relax, I want to have a good time. But First thing in the morning isn't the only time that you can find like the low crowds and the nicer weather at the parks. You can also do that at night. I'm gonna be honest, I still haven't recovered from waking up at 5.30. This is one of the downsides to coming in the afternoon. When you're in Florida, it rains a lot in the afternoon and that is a nasty rain cloud behind me. We just heard thunder. We've also seen some lightnings and there was a wait times board that had the majority of the rides, especially over here in islands, because pretty much everything is outdoors. They're all shut down. So hopefully it passes quick. We added to the collection because it is going to rain. And uh, with all this wind, you know, maybe maybe it'll pass really quickly. Like this storm is- <laughs> Did you hear it? I know, I just felt, I think I felt my first raindrop too. Yeah. You can hear it like lightning and it's rain. I'd really hate to get stuck in a candy shop. Oh, that'd be terrible. <laughs> tell me I don't need a Grinch apple. We'll wait for them to tell you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Why does this candy store smell so good? Because it's candy. <laughs> okay. It smells like 
smells so good over here, all the gummy bears. There's one that says gummy bear cubs, like little bitty babies. But when I read it, I thought it said club. And I was like, oh man, I wanna be part of the gummy bear club. This is really putting a damper on our plans. <laughs> a little bit. It's hard to show you what the last hour is like when everything's closed. It appears that tonight is not going to go as planned. We sat inside the candy store um, for almost an hour because uh, it was raining, like really, really raining. It's still raining a little bit, but not as bad, but that's okay. We're still gonna, we're gonna make something out of it. We're gonna have fun. So there is one problem with rain at Islands of Adventure and it's not as much of a problem over at studios and that's that 90% of the rides over here close when it rains because um, they're outdoors because they're outdoors uh, so <laughs> you'll have stuff like Forbidden Journey would still be open Cat in the Hat was open Spider-Man yeah. <laughs> that's probably about it is everything else gone I, like is everything else uh, everything else would close maybe, maybe it? Kong if they run it indoors oh maybe? yeah well, yeah well so that's the thing Kong can run both indoors and outdoors so it doesn't have to close I forgot about Kong <laughs> so they'll shut down it just won't run outside which yeah. I don't know if it's run outside in like a year <laughs> at this point it rained so hard that they shut down Poseidon's permanently <laughs> put a tarp over the front of it and then turned it into a restaurant <laughs> I like that they added the seats over here though, because there's never enough places to eat. Yeah. Like up by the other and two restaurants. There's a lot of restaurants here. Yeah. And now it's it only, makes sense. It's only restaurants. You got a you got a nice view. Like you can look at Poseidon's feet while you eat. And just like that, the rain is gone. Hopefully, like if the lightning has gotten out of the area, some of the rides will open. Back you said up. gone a little too confidently. <laughs> okay, it is not actively like I'm not getting wet standing here right now. But I did want to say. I think the rain gear of choice in theme parks for a long time has been ponchos. Uh, and I get it, cause like you don't have to carry it. Like it's kind of convenient. You just throw it on and then you throw it away when you're done with it. But ponchos here at the parks are like $12. Like they are not cheap. This giant umbrella is 20 and this one's 15. And I swear, like y'all need to like, let me know if I'm remembering right or not. I swear like a month ago, this one was cheaper. It was like 15 or 17 or something like that. So like, you can get this giant umbrella that you can keep. It's like a souvenir. It says universal, or you can pay $12 for a poncho that's eventually gonna end up in the trash. Hey, Anna. <laughs> Look at it. It's so bubbly. This is like the prettiest frozen butter beer I've ever seen. There was no line, so I had to hop in. So walking in here, we saw that giant a uh, group of people. <laughs> you know how when there's drama in the world, people will get a like popcorn and watch the drama? They're about to open up Hagrid's or they're, they might open up Hagrid's because it was on weather delay. I'm just here to grab a butterbeer and watch <laughs> the Mad House. It's amazing how many people are standing over there. Like there's a giant swarm of people that are just hoping that Hagrid's opens back up and they're able to like dash in and be like, in the first card or only wait like five minutes it's great i uh i kind of love the rain i just wanted to sneak you in there um because everything's empty they're starting to run like roller coaster cars so uh hippogriff running veloc coaster they're testing because they're about to open everything back up but everybody's left like nobody's here Every, i think the wait time for uh forbidden journey and you got to think it was one of the only rides open it's 10 minutes Everybody leaves when it rains. Uh, if, it, if you're here and it starts raining, just hang out. It's the best. So I know, kind of like we said earlier, the direct comparison can't really be made uh, because the circumstances are, are different uh, now <laughs> with the rain. The rain just changes everything. Yeah. But the fact is, it rains down here a lot. Um, like, you're going to have a lot of days where you get five to 15 minutes of rain maybe not necessarily like that hour-long rain that we had or rain periodically throughout the day and what we love about it is 
everybody goes home. Like a lot of the locals, they don't have to be here during yeah. the rain, so they're just gonna they're gonna head out, and it makes it one of our favorite times to be here. Well, and especially during the summer, like today's kind of a bummer because like studios is already closed and Islands closes at eight. But during the summer, when it's busier, a lot of the times the parks will be open until nine or ten o'clock at night. So if you get like a little bit of rain or even an hour of rain that ends at like six or seven, you still have a couple hours where you can come and enjoy a virtually empty park and it's dark outside so it's not nearly as hot either something else that we've noticed is a lot of like the restaurants so like thunder falls it's already closed yeah. and a lot of the restaurants close early and you may think that's an argument about like coming at night but the problem is like we were talking about earlier well way earlier because this video didn't work out the way it was supposed to <laughs> yesterday morning <laughs> yesterday morning way earlier um <laughs> A lot of the restaurants aren't open when the park opens anyways. Yeah. There's not a ton of breakfast options in the parks. No, there's like two, so, to be exact. <laughs> so it's kind of the same thing. Like, you yeah. fight it on both ends. I, I don't know which one's better. Because um, there's still, like, snack carts and stuff open right now. Get a reservation, eat at five, and then enjoy nighttime in the park. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I love all the people that are making a mad dash either to like Velocicoaster or Hagrid's because everybody knows that as long as you get in line before park close, they pretty much always let you like wait and ride the attraction even if it has a wait time longer than like however much time is left until the park closes. Everybody's like getting their sprints in. you had to ask either one of us if we preferred first thing in the morning or late at night at the parks we would both say late at night but there are two things that like kind of heavily influence that decision that we can't do tonight and the first one is a nighttime show so they're not currently running a nighttime show here in islands of adventure they don't have one in studios either but they typically have the hogwarts like castle light show they have different ones with different names they're refurbing that right now so it's not running it will be eventually and will hopefully be better but like we love fireworks we love the light shows and then also it's not dark out like it's getting there it's sunset like there's a gorgeous scene in front of me and behind me but it's not dark out and the parks are a completely different experience when it's dark out the lights are gorgeous like riding some of the rides especially like the roller coasters a lot of people like there's rumors that go around that they're faster at night of course that's not true they run the exact same but the reason that people feel like that is because it feels like a completely different experience when it's dark out Look at Anna putting on Instagram. Pretty sunset. It's so pretty. Oh, there they go. Whee! Oh, look at Anna on Instagram. <laughs> this is so meta. Oh. <laughs> Listening to you talk about that, it made me realize uh, one thing, and that's why we love the OI meetup so much, <laughs> is because everything that you're talking about loving, we get to do there. Empty parks, nighttime. It's just, yeah, it, it, like it, food. <laughs> it just made me think about all of that. Like you were sitting there mentioning, I was like, yeah, that's, that's what she's talking about. But today and yesterday were fun, I guess. Uh, it didn't go exactly how we had envisioned. Yes. But that happens sometimes. Yes. We still had a good time. And we would like to know, which one do you like better? Night or early morning? And if you say early morning, give me like a three paragraph essay of why, because I, I need to understand. But anyways, Thanks for hanging out, guys. If you want to check out Anna, tell them a video, and you're not going to say this one. You're going to say a video. The Tyler's Fast and Furious oh, Challenge. Oh, the Fast and Furious Challenge. <laughs> if you want to check out that, check out this video right here. But we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.